Hi everyone, welcome to the graphic design session of The Ordinary Gift. Today I'm going to show you how to make a coffee mug, mush -up, mug no, a coffee mug mock-up using Adobe Photoshop. Now to do this, uh, you get a picture of a mug which you will intend to use. Me, I got this picture from uh, Freepik. So and this is our Adobe um, Photoshop environment. So let's begin. So first and first, you take the rectangle tool, you draw a rectangle, um, give it a color for this, I'll be giving it the color black. And then you come to filter, convert for smart filters. Next thing you should do, you go to the edit uh, layer and you select free transform now you come to your object you right click on it and you distort now this is distortion we can uh, bend this rectangle we have drawn to whatever shape uh, to fit into this mug just like this Remember, this is only uh, was only possible because I used the distort feature. So a quick recap: to, uh, to go to use your distort feature, make sure you go to the, to the edit panel and you click, you select free transform, and you right click on the rectangle to give you the distort feature. Now, whatever I'm doing right here, we we'll have to make sure it's very right. It has to fit in with the edges of this mug. So I'm going to zoom in right now and ensure that this rectangle fits in. Um, first things first, something I missed, we have to reduce the opacity of this rectangle so that we can see through. We are going to take it back. So, but for now, let's put this going back, free transform these thoughts so let me zoom in now and make sure it is done right So whatever I'm going to show you right here, whatever I'm showing you right here, you can use it to create mock-up for um, different objects. You can use it to create a mock-up for a book. If you have a design and you want to use it as a book cover, and the process right here is still the same thing. You have your design, you create a rectangle like this, and I'll show you what we're getting there. So but this, this, these are the first steps. I'm going to zoom in more make sure it is just right that it's sitting on the edge the edges of this mug Okay. This side is all right. Okay, down here, as you can see, it's not sitting on the mall properly. So let's check the other side. Okay, there's still one more edge here. So
Let's go to beat. Too much. So with this, um, now you've done this, you right click again and you warp. The reason why we are warping, you can see that there are curved edges on our mug. So I'm going to warp so that I'll be able to distort this shape further to fit into these, these uh, curved edges. So go to warp and drag this. Um, down. I'm not going to be taking it all down. Come here to drag it down and the top. While wrapping so that we can get the curved edges of our of our mug. So whatever shape you are using, uh, the warp is going to play a, a useful tool for you to get the curved edges of whatever object that may be. I think I would stop here. So we are done. You can increase the opacity now back to 100. So now we have something like this. We have to put in a uh, fit in a design on it that will be on our mug, the mock up, the design mock up that will be on our mug. So right now we're going to be creating a simple design that will just fit right into this rectangle. So I'm going to be creating a new file. I'll be giving it for let me see three the width of 3, height of 4. I'm not going to be using pixels, I'll be using inches. A width of 3 inches on a height of 4 to create. So we're just going to be making a simple design. So for the sake of and the duration of this video, I'll be speeding up this part.
welcome back yeah, this is our simple design we're going to be using for the coffee mug mock-up so this is it um, remember we deal on personalized items and this is one of the products which we make make personalized mugs so now let's go back to our mug so we'll come back to the rectangle we have been creating all this while so what we do next now we want to make this design this design we have created we want to place it into this rectangle we are trying to mock up on this uh, mug so let's save this design first I'm going to be saving it as a picture So what to do, we are done saving that design or saving it as a picture. So we'll go back here and what you should do next, double tap on this rectangle, come to file, under file, place embedded. It will take you to the folder to choose the design you want to put on your mockup. Now we design this and I'm going to place this, I'm going to embed this into the design. So you're going to drag. just like I'm doing right now mm, since our design is not uh, appropriate to the mug size but you get the idea of what I'm trying to create so this is what we've done. So you save this, Ctrl S, and you go back to your diagram. As you can see, uh, our design is on our mug, so we have to make it look realistic. Um, to do that, select a rectangle, change your blending mode to multiply. You come to the effect options here, the blending options, and you press hold down your alt key and you separate this. So this is it, we have successfully mocked up our mug using the design we created. Now when you are through with the design, like this is my designs, design here, I can see that there are places on the edges of my mug that are not adjusted properly. You can also go back to the previous way, uh, what we did before when you distorted and you warped to rearrange this shape to fit properly into the mug. So from my own design here, 
my design is uh, my mock-up is not fitting properly on my mug so I'm going to be adjusting it So stay tuned to our channel, please subscribe, like this video and share it and uh, put on your notifications so that whenever we release a new video in relation to our graphic design session, you always be aware of it. So until I see you next time, this is The Ordinary Gift.